Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this weekend I went into Zara, I did a little shop and I posted on my stories the picture of me with my two ginormous Zara shopping bags and I literally had hundreds of you screaming at me to see what I bought. So that is what we are doing today. I've actually done another Zara order, like I've done a Zara order before I went into store. The whole reason I ended up in store is because Ryan went, oh, can we just walk through Zara? I just need to like have a look at one thing. 10 minutes later, I have two bags of stuff and he has nothing. So I do have another haul for you full of more springy pieces, really lovely kind of like blazers, that kind of thing. Stuff that I'm really, really excited for, which I was kind of gonna put up more towards the end of the month, but this is more like stuff for now nice chunky kind of knitted jumpers there's a few jackets and things like that so i'll do this now and then later on in the month or in a couple of weeks time or whatever depending on when this goes up i will do that stuff so without keeping you here too much because i know you'll hate a long intro let's get into it so i'm going to start with the jumper that i'm wearing you can kind of see my bra through it but oh well this is like a weird kind of like very holy knit from Zara. I'll kind of show this to you styled up. I really like wearing it with my trackies at the moment, but I think it would look really lovely with some mom jeans or black skinny jeans, that kind of thing. It's a very easy versatile jumper to be honest. I've just literally thrown it on today. I'm not feeling too great. So I just kind of threw it on with my trackies and it's really, really cute and I like it a lot. So that is my first item. I'll kind of show you how to style it up now. So you've obviously already seen this in the main part of the video, but I just thought I'd show you it with my leather trousies. This is what it looks like. I love this jumper. It's so cute. I'm actually wear this today. As you can tell, also, it's a different day because hair is looking very different. The hair is back. Yeah, I love this. It's such a cute, really cash outfit. I, yeah, I just absolutely love it. I really like the kind of very shiny, glossy, almost like glam effect that the leather trousers give mixed with the very, very casual and like soft texture of the jumper and the crop hits at the perfect point really if i kind of like move my arms a little bit you get a tiny bit of midriff tummy whatever you want to call it but apart from that it hits at the perfect point nothing is on show it's a really nice one for spring as well i think because this obviously is quite holy it's very breathable because of that and i really really like it i think it will do me really well in the spring months and maybe even into the summer on like cold summer days i think this would be an amazing one to pair with like shorts denim shorts that kind of thing it would look very very cute with some like mid blue or light blue kind of high-waisted denim shorts but for now i will stick with the leather trousers because they're fab so the second item you will have already seen if you saw those stories because i actually switched my jacket whilst i was out and lots of you will have seen on stories that i switched from a black jacket to this one i picked this up when i was in zara and i was so excited to wear it that i literally just like took the tags off it and then just wore it basically immediately this actually has a little belt that goes around but i took it out because it just kept slipping out it was really annoying and they're really noisy anyway so i just i hate those little belt thingies. I love the color of this. It's like that, what is it called? Ecru, Ecru, that kind of color. Just a really beautiful, creamy, almost like an oystery pink mixed with a cream kind of color. I love this. If you could assign me a color in life, this would probably be it. One of the reasons I really love it is because I wear leather trousers a lot and a black leather jacket and leather trousers kind of sometimes looks a bit much. Sometimes it's an actual vibe, but I thought this would be an amazing one to pair with my leather leggings because they're not too leathery for one. They're not too shiny, but the color of this also is a nice contrast. I was wearing that and was I wearing a white? top god i'm trying to remember yeah that a white top and then this and it worked really really beautifully together and also it went really well with the boots that i was wearing so this is the leather jacket i love this like i look at it on the hanger and i'm like yeah it's really nice and then i put it on and i'm just like oh my god i love this like i was born to wear this this feels like an extension of my body yeah it's really really gorgeous i could not be happier with this i'm just wearing it with the same t-shirt that I think you will have seen in this haul as well. And then leather look, leggings from Zara, boots from Zara, the whole shebang, which I think you're also gonna see in a sec, or have already seen. But yeah, it fits beautifully. It works with the jumper underneath as well. The day I got it, I wore it with a jumper underneath. It works even better with just like a nice loose t-shirt, making it the perfect spring jacket. It's great. I love it so, 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 so much. Could not recommend it enough. Just take the belt loop out of it when you buy it, because otherwise it will annoy you until the day you don't wear it anymore because otherwise it's just going to be very 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 annoying and loud people will hear you coming i have nothing else to say about it i feel like some of these have really rambled on about how much i love the item but i actually just feel like this one speaks for itself it's so 
so gorgeous. These actually were part of my online order but I thought I'd show them to you in this haul because you saw them on stories anyway. And these are slightly less springy than the rest of the items in the haul. They're zip up at the side, which you can see there. I would say to size up in these, I have a size five, which is my normal size, but actually when I put socks on with them versus like having tights on with them, they do feel quite tight and they do blister the back of my feet so far. So not the most comfortable, but I really, really like the way they look on and they're very, very flattering. You guys will know how I feel about chunky boots, especially if you're quite wider on like your hips on top, chunky boots really help to kind of balance you out at the bottom and I really, really so like that. So these are the boots that I showed you guys earlier. It's just got very, very dark in here because it's pissing it down with rain. So I'm hoping you can see them okay probably not but there you go that's probably the best view we're gonna get of them so they are very very chunky however i really like it for outfits like this one i'm back i just had to white balance my camera because it was very blue in here but yeah this is how i would kind of style them i would wear them with something that is quite chunky on top like this shirt is huge on me uh, it's one of the reasons that i have this belt around it i really like that way of styling it this is from topshop and this is also from topshop love them both it's got a gorgeous little kind of pendant on the end as well with the lion's head. It's kind of generic, but very cute. This is kind of how I would style it because I love my oversized white shirts, oversized anything really, but with a pair of leather look leggings. These are kind of more of a matte leather look, but these two pair together balance out the silhouette because the leather look leggings on the bottom streamlines my legs. And then the chunky boot actually, like, cause it's tight around the ankle, cinches in my ankle, but then the chunky base of it actually balances out the silhouette a little bit. And if I was wearing like a very dainty pointed shoe, I would look very, very top heavy right now. So it just balances everything out. And I love that. It's my favorite thing about wearing chunky boots. It just seems to do the most to balance out your figure. And I would love to pair these if I was wearing the knitted jumper in this haul as well with the puff sleeves because obviously it exaggerates your shoulders so that balances you out really really nicely as well so yeah with a pair of like actual leather trousers that would be a really great look this is an example of how i would style these boots and it's a really great kind of everyday look well depending on what your everyday activities include but you know work with me here and if you wanted a more basic kind of setup to pair the chunky boots with the t-shirt that i've also popped in this haul would also work brilliantly again with the leather look leggings i think it's just like a really nice everyday look and because your bottom half is so streamlined i just think that it pulls everything together a little bit more even though it's a very 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 basic outfit just a really great kind of casual one for when you need to get ready quick but look pulled together i'm going to continue with coats and just get them out of the way because i have a coat problem i was trying to get ryan to help me decide which one not to get and he was just like i just like all of them and i was like you are the wrong person to bring shopping with me okay lesson learned i love this one we all know how much i love like a thin kind of this is almost like a waterfall cut around the collar a thin lightweight jacket and this one has a tie waist so basically this is an outdoor dressing gown which i love i thought this would be a nice addition to my wardrobe i wear my mango coat again all the time and sometimes the tan just isn't appropriate for what i want to wear i especially love white because i think just with my skin tone it really like lifts everything i look really healthy when i wear white really healthy weirdest description i think i've ever given lots of you will obviously know i love wearing white so i thought this would be a perfect addition to my wardrobe i haven't tried it on yet but i have a feeling we're going to be best friends so this is the white coat I love it. Slight continuity error there because my television is now on. I forgot to film this clip. This white coat is just my absolute dream. It is my favorite thing to wear at the moment. If you follow me on any other platform that isn't actually, even if it is YouTube, you will have seen me wearing this. I am obsessed. I think it's actually my perfect coat. It's got a similar vibe to my mango tan one except it's in a color that goes with everything i really struggle with tan because it doesn't go with everything i feel like if i pair it with like blue denim it just feels like i'm wearing way too much color and it just feels like a little bit of an overload so i prefer to like wear it with black but this style of coat is that same kind of like oversized dressing gown vibe but i can wear it with blue denim black the whole the whole shebang any color nudes underneath neutrals if there's a color like my um knitted little green number i can wear it with that it's just perfect i really love it so yeah would highly recommend this one and this is the one that everyone else comments on when i see people in life you know friends i have those they're just like i love this coat so much everyone loves it so 
Ryan did some good choosing there because I was honestly going to put this back down. So happy I didn't. So cute. Great pockets as well, they're huge. Then, this one might have to go back, you know, guys, because I did not need another like bomber jacket style thing, but it was fluffy. Oh, I just love it. It's my perfect colour. It feels so warm and so snuggly. It's like fuzzy, partly on the inside, but then it's like, just like a normal kind of, I don't know what you call it, polyester material, probably. Oh my God. Maybe I can't take it back, you know? Just thought this would be lovely for days when it's not raining, but I'm going to the gym and it's really cold. I am aware that it is a bit too similar in colour to my All Saints jacket. It's the same style, the only difference is it's furry, obviously faux furry, but no. It's very similar, so I might have to take this one back, but I'll show you how I'm going to style it up anyway. Um, I have a feeling when Lauren watches this haul, she's not with me today because I'm obviously feeling poorly and we're trying to like limit the contagiousness and make sure we're not both ill. <laughs> I have a feeling when she watches this video, she'll probably shout at me for having something that is too similar and very unnecessary. And I feel like a lot of you in the comments are also going to do that. So yeah, it might have to go back. Does my wardrobe need another giant puffy jacket in it? Because honestly, they are the hardest thing to store. I really think I should have got this in a medium. It just doesn't feel snuggly enough. It feels a bit too fitted, even though it does look quite, I don't know, it does look a little bit chunky, but I think I would have preferred it to have been chunkier on top. So I think I might see if this is still in store in a medium and give it a try on. I think because I already had so many oversized puffers, I thought that I would get my kind of regular size and go for something that is a little bit smaller, but actually, I don't love it and I think there's probably a reason that most I buy most of my puffers like really really oversized because I just I don't know it just doesn't feel right I think as well because obviously I'm wearing very chunky boots I naturally want to level out the proportions a little bit more but yeah I just don't think I love this that much which is really sad probably doesn't help I don't love this t-shirt underneath maybe I need to tuck it I just don't think it looks super flattering if I'm honest but no, still don't love it. Yeah, you can't save something if you don't love it. So I think this one will be going back, which is very sad. I might try it on and see what it looks like. A little bit more oversized, but we'll see. It does also feel like a bit of an unseasonal purchase. So I'm not holding out hope. I don't think it's the best purchase, but if anyone else wants to buy it, you know, to maybe size up a little bit. And yeah, if you do buy it, I'm really jealous of you. I feel like the leather jacket and the coatigan are more sensible purchases going into the spring. The fluffy jacket, maybe not so much. Anyway, moving on. I'm just gonna get everything out and put it on the chair next to me. Um, Cause there's a little of it. Okay. Couldn't help but pick up a basic. You guys know how much I love my basic items. This is actually coming off a lot cooler on camera than it looks in real life. It's more of a like very light, camely colour almost. It's a really beautiful sheer t-shirt though. It actually runs very small. I got this in an extra large because I wanted it to be more slouchy but I think it's meant to be a bit like a light curry feel tight t-shirt but I just love the colour and I don't really want a t-shirt that fits in that way. So yeah I picked it up in a bigger size. I'm excited to see what it looks like on. I feel like it will be great with my leather look leggings. I don't know what I'm gonna do when leather look leggings aren't like a thing anymore and no one's wearing them and they're not cool i would be really really sad i'll just never wear clothes ever again yeah excited to try that on i feel like it'll be just a really nice basic in my wardrobe i was like going through all of the bits that i'd picked up as we were walking through zara and i was like mm, do i need this and i was like you can never have enough basic t-shirts especially because t-shirts are the things that you we wear the most and that normally get kind of like worn and worn out the most so i was just like yeah i'm gonna get this that. is the nude top i thought i'd leave it untucked for a quick second just to show you what kind of length it is so i got the extra large and I really like it. I like the way it falls. There's not a lot of t-shirts that you find at the moment on the market that are very loose like this. So I really like it. I like the way it falls. I like how stretchy it is. The material is so gorgeous, like really, really nice and stretchy. Almost reminds me of a boy's t-shirt really. But yeah, it just gives it a lovely slouch. It tucks really, really beautifully. I'm very, very happy with my choice. You can also do the classic twist and tuck which is really hard to do with one hand so always looks a bit messy when you're first doing it so just twist your t-shirt tuck it in you can pull it out a bit i'm just doing that because i'm really trying to disguise the fact that i'm not wearing a bra i'm not doing a very good job of it but yeah really really nice easy t-shirt 
very happy with this i like the long sleeves of it as well like even if i hadn't sized up i think i might maybe get this in some other colors because the sleeve length is beautiful i really like a longer sleeve i feel like there's a lot of people out there that also like a long sleeve i don't know anyone that really prefers a sleeve that cuts here because that's literally the, like the most unflattering t-shirt cut but this is gorgeous i think i need it in black and a white and maybe some kind of color though non-essential but yeah this is an amazing basic i'm happy with my choice and then also picked up a few of their kind of like knitted bralettes that don't come as part of a set i thought this one would be really cute with my leather look leggings but also with a light blue pair of mom jeans these would look gorgeous they also do this in a black and i thought that would look really nice with my black flared top shop jeans so i'm trying not to buy it in all the colors but we'll see how i get on with this one and whether it becomes an essential part of my wardrobe but i just thought going in spring that with some blue denim would be gorgeous so this is the white top i'm gonna be honest this isn't my favorite of the bunch i actually think i maybe should have got a size smaller because it gapes here and i can imagine if i had a small it would i don't know because if i had a small i feel like it would be my boobs would be way more on show but there would be less gaping here which i don't know if you can see it's actually quite a lot it doesn't look too bad from the front but it then also is quite unflattering because it kind of makes this shape here which actually it should be more like that and that makes it a little bit more streamlining so yeah it's not the most flattering i would say because of that and then it's also quite loose around like my torso as well which is then not the best for when you're tucking in because you're still getting all of this rippling it's not as clean in its look as i would have liked because of that so yeah it's a really tricky one because it's really really cute i do like it i probably will keep it it's just a shame i should have gone for a small but yeah it is very very cute looks really really nice with my zara leather trousers i'm not sure if these are still in stock if they are I will definitely link them very very cute otherwise and a really nice simple basic that is kind of everyday but you can also dress it up dress it down this could look cool with trackies or leather trousers and heels for a night out it's a really versatile nice easy piece i then also picked a similar item up but in a different color for me i feel like i've said this before but i'm not the biggest lover of green however this is more of like a gray green it's almost like that skims grazy green and i really really love that tone i think it's such a rare tone to see at the moment that it looks a lot more expensive than it maybe is this was 12.99 i got it in a small so let's hope and pray my boobs fit in certain times of the month my boobs are going to fit in this beautifully and other times of the month they are not going to fit in i would probably get one boob in this i feel like this will be gorgeous again with some kind of like leather trouser i think my high-waisted ones that are a bit baggier would look very very cool with this because this is going to be more fitted on top and it's a bit more cropped so my leather trousers where are they are they here no i think i packed them so they're somewhere over there but i think those would look amazing because they come higher up on my waist like much much higher up than my skinny leather trousers and my leather joggers are obviously very very low rise so i feel like this is going to look amazing with those and it'd be a really nice like spring night out kind of vibe where you've just got something that's very comfy on top a little bit knitted a little bit knitted it is knitted and then maybe like a blazer thrown over the top with the leather trousers just really nice and easy but really chic and yeah I'm gonna see how that looks i'm really excited i love this top you will have already seen this if you watched my last vlog side note if you are subscribed purely for the hauls on this channel i would highly recommend watching the vlogs as well because you get to see some things occasionally a little bit ahead of time so some of you will have seen this already so you know that i'm loving it and keeping it but i am obsessed with this i love it with these trousers as i thought i would when i bought this it also works beautifully with a pair of trackies and it's just super super comfy and i don't really have too many issues going braless with it i think i did manage to get my strapless bra on underneath this though with zero like issues of it showing here just about so yeah you can wear a strapless bra with it if you wanted to but i do think t-shirt bras actually are just just about the right shape for this so give it a go i think it's a fab little item to have in your wardrobe at the moment it's just a really nice extra piece that i don't have anything else that's really like obviously apart from the white one but the white one is less knitted i just love this I love the colour, I really love the fit. I think it's a really great layering piece. If you like layering and you don't want to wear it like this, you could wear it over the top of a white shirt. And I think that would look really cool as well. So I might style that up at some point, I'll see. I sometimes find layering on my figure because it curves a bit more, it's a bit bulky, but 
that's kind of like the point of like these kind of little corset or knitted tops over the top of a shirt is they kind of cinch you in a little bit so i'll give that a go but i think it's a really nice versatile little piece and i love the color like i said it's going to be great for both summer and at the moment because it works really really nicely under like my coats and things like that with something that's higher waisted these are kind of falling down a little bit because i haven't got a belt with them on so they're sitting a bit lower but with the belt on they can sit like this so you have slightly less tummy on show that also work really nicely with like a leather skirt as well jeans my premium mom jeans from top shop that are quite high waisted will work really really beautifully with this so yeah i really really love it just love it i've talked for like two minutes about how much i love it that's wow i'm gonna stop now i then picked this up my friend carla has this and anything that i see her wear i usually fall in love with she has the best style i would highly recommend you go follow her on instagram this is so cute i can't wait to try it on i think this would look amazing with a pair of skinny leather look trousers or black mom jeans or black skinnies with then a really high boot or like a flat boot that's maybe quite pointed so it really elongates your figure i just think this would be like ultimate comfy power dressing Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. I think as we go into spring, you'll see me wearing more tops like this that are like knitwear, but I don't need to wear too much over the top of them. So I kind of like maintain that warmth, but don't need too much more layering. It's kind of all about the statement knit, basically. That's how I feel. I really love this top. It is an absolute little gem. My God, the sleeves are so cute. <laughs> it makes me so happy. I have been waiting for my hair to be back because I knew it would just feel so cute with the very like puffy sleeves it's super super girly but then with some leather trousers because what else do I wear really <laughs> other than leather trousers and the occasional bit of denim with the leather trousers they just work so so well because this is super feminine it's nice and fitted on the top and then these are baggier on the bottom but they both have that kind of smarter feel and that's what I really love however because this is a knit it's like a knit rib really really gorgeous it kind of casuals it down a little bit and especially like the gray makes it feel a lot more cash so you've got this perfect like smart casual outfit in this and i am such a fan i love the way this fits as well i can't remember what size i got this in but hopefully i said in the main bit of the video but it fits so so well it works really well with the t-shirt bra underneath as well you just have to really make sure that your t-shirt bra straps are tucked like firmly under here however you can also go for a strapless bra bra <laughs> <laughs> a strapless bra under this i'm not wearing one at all right now but both of those i've i've tried and tested them over the past week and they both work quite well this is going to be an absolute little gem in my wardrobe this will look great with jeans as well if you're not a leather trousers kind of girl this would be beautiful with jeans whether it's skinny or mum jeans boyfriend jeans i think it would work perfectly because it's so nice and fitted on top and i love the fact that the sleeves also go tighter as well so just Oh, it just cinches in in all the right places. I'm so, so happy with this. Maybe I'll wear this today. Hmm, can't decide. So that is it for my Zara haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything and how I styled it. Let me know what your favourite items are in the comments below. And if you are new, please make sure you subscribe because if you like the Zara hauls, then you will be in good company here. And if you like styling videos, you are going to love this channel. If you like vlogs, you're also going to love this channel. The vlogs are basically an extension of my shopping habits. So I hope you enjoy being here. Welcome. Come join the family. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Goodbye.